Hello and welcome to this. Uh, where we watch this arcane. By the way, y'all, someone told me that I could put the entire episode full screen of arcane up and they wouldn't take it down. And I want to say last episode, I uploaded just like too, too long of a windowed screen. It got blocked. So don't go around commenting that. Stop. Collaborate and Love listen. Love you, but stop. So last time, the most important thing, at least for me, was that Vi seemed to have sacrificed herself, right? Right, yeah, the I think so, to the enforcers. They're like, someone has to turn themselves in, or we're just going to make things worse for all of you. So we assume that she turned herself in, but it's not confirmed. And, the oh, the kid, you took the... The potion. rat, the, the mega rat, purple drink. He didn't turn into a mega rat. No, the rat turned into a mega rat. But he's going to turn into a mega kid. A mega kid, a mega... It's probably going to be very sad. Foreboding music plays. That's that's pretty foreboding. Story of opposites. There's peace in water. Like it's holding you. Whispering in low tones to let it in. But then there's this thing in your head. And it's raging. Have you had enough for that? I thank you. Oh. Vander. Oh! Okay. That's Vander. And what's his face? And the, the robot eye guy. Yeah. I don't know his name, but that was really, really cool. They're so good at setting a tone. I just have such an eerie feeling. Every time I saw him, I went, ew. Yeah. And he, at that point, looked like a human. Yeah. He, I didn't even him. recognize him. Mm -mm. So now I'm going to sympathize with the major villain. Thank you so much, Riot Games. Thanks, Riot Games. There she is. Vanda. <gasps> See? Oh, I don't have much time. How did you find me? I'm proud of you. Always have been. You've got a good heart. Don't ever lose it. No matter how the world tries to break you. Protect the family. What are you? Ah. No. Oh. <gasps> no! 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 Oh my God! Let me out! I'm not putting you away, Amanda. The council needs its pound of flesh. Without you down here, it all falls apart. Mm. Oh, Amanda, no! I can't do this! Oh no! You won't be coming back for a long time. I oh, know. It's the only way. What's happening? What? Wait. <gasps> oh. oh, the devil. <gasps> okay. Oh no, 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 no. You never did know when to walk away. Wait! Being stubborn to the end. What the hell have you done? This wasn't the deal! Marcus? Deal's changed. Oh my god. No way. Okay. The purple. Ugh. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, she doesn't. So she doesn't know. Well. Does she know that he got taken or does she think that he died? She might think that he died because like she oh. all she's seeing is like, blood, the blood and the fist flying. And I don't know if he is dead because that that 
No, he's he not huge. dead. They took they took him. Right? I know that's sad. And also the enforcer. But then also I feel bad for Marcus. <sighs> think he was just Obviously trying feels... to make it like I don't know. Yeah. I, I have a feeling we're gonna learn more about Marcus. I knew he was more complicated than they were leading us to believe yeah, and, and same. that he wasn't truly like bad, but this is like some everything's Judas messed up stuff. Yeah. Not at all what you expect when you make a deal. Well, we could test it if we had access to my equipment. Which is being destroyed tomorrow. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I... Yeah, I, I, I meant to tell you. Victor! <laughs> my research is everything. My, my, my whole life. Yeah, locked away in Heimendinger's lab. <laughs> no, no, no. You heard the council. If we're wrong... You got to be right, then. Why? Why would you risk this? Do you think it was my life's ambition to be an assistant? Our Hextech dream. Are they wearing the same outfit? Is They're... that the the academy? Yeah. Okay. Good. No! Little man. I thought. I saw everything. Oh! <gasps> Bet so. They. What about Vander? They, they, they took him. I love that she still holds him while she. <laughs> That's huge news for her, but she still is comforting him. You know? Like, I just. Her little, like, head shake. Like, when he showed himself, she was like, oh. Like yeah. She knew. Because he's always watching everyone. Oh, that's sad. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Mm -mm. It's a little crude, I'll admit. They won't dare set foot in the underground Oh, he still again. looks like him. You'll get people killed. And for what? Pride? For respect. The nation of Zorn. Do you even remember? I trusted you. I've never forgiven myself. You are my brother. No, you still don't understand. I hated you for what you'd done. But as time passed, so did my hate. They lapped dog after everything we suffered. I had no choice. Perhaps. But now you do. Shema, <laughs> we have the power. We can finally realize our dream. I'm just not that man anymore. Now I'll show you what you really are. No. Are you bringing him down with you? <sighs> I don't like this. No. I had a hunch, like when I saw all those vials, I was like, they're gonna burn him. Because he is like so strong and has so much influence and experience fighting is like a revenge hurt people hurt people but he is pretty evil mm -hmm. like he's very far down but it just feels like he's bringing him down with him and he says it's changes for the better but he really just wants power and, and chasing yeah power. and he said he used the word pride and he's like no respect so far so good oh hmm. are you gonna you risk exile for your endeavor <laughs> That's quite the conviction. Join? <laughs> what a surprise. Bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> I love Victor. I recognize that any worthwhile venture involves risk. You're gonna need it if you're dealing with the guy underneath. Yeah. Please. Come on. Just give us a chance. Impress me, or I'd suggest you pack your bags. <laughs> <laughs> Such oh, a herald. Yes. Well, if the enforcers hit tonight, we'll be ready. I think. Dibs on the back. No, 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 no. I found. What? <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. You're back. Oh. Benzo's dead. Dead? They took Vander. Who took Vander? I don't know, but I need to help him. I need you to sit this one out, Powder. What? You're not coming. 
I'm not afraid. It's too dangerous. But family stick together. You said it yourself. You're all I have left. I can't lose you. No! Mm -mm. I don't like that. Are you sure you know what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, powder. But what just happened? Like, what was the effect of it? It, like, reversed time. Oh, shoot! And it's like Powder had a vision of it. Oh, yeah, no! She saw it all yeah. backwards. It's so cool. Oh my god, good job, guys! <laughs> How did you find him? <laughs> wow. Fine. Stealth skill maxed out. What are you doing here? It was easy. We found an open window and... Oh, god. You have to get out. Now. Well wait, done. wait, wait, wait. She knew it. Her face, she knew. You have my congratulations. <sighs> oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, little. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Take a breath. Oh. You can do this. Oh. <laughs> Good dad. <laughs> We're going to get you out. Good job. Resourceful so, little so beans. <laughs> I hate the throwing up. Yeah. Between you and me, you had your chance. You did good. <laughs> really good. My crush. <laughs> it's my crush. <laughs> my way to steal your girl. <laughs> wow. Oh, nice, dude. Oh no, no. Wait, what if he kills? Excuse me, underfoot. Okay. Oh. You've actually done it. Will you please stop hovering? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how to do that, sir. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think we can get down. This is not what Piltover's future looks like, my dear boys. That's for the council to decide. Mm. Yeah! It's just all the emotions that it can take you through and, like and the duality of this really cool light good magic and the disgustingness of that purple stuff like it's he's throwing it up yeah oh it's so unsettling yeah and i love how it's like a way of taking care of the viewer too because yeah because it's too much yeah with with by and powder it's a lot it's like anxiety and then just like satisfaction yeah. i love it thank god for victor yeah victor's awesome you have to work for me okay oh, oh sweet i love her so much that is so cute <laughs> stop dude <sighs> go yeah clagger Oh. 
What is it? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Ooh. Oh my god, is that Bander? What is the screen? Uh-oh, that's... I mean, what? <sighs> This is like the worst it can possibly be. It's brutal. Take care of powder. Light worked. Did you see me? My monkey bomb finally worked. You did this. I told you to stay away! No! Why did you leave me? Because you're a jinx! Do you hear me? Milo was right! No. Oh my god! God, that's a weird way to help someone. What? Hello, little girl. Where's your sister? She is not my sister anymore. No. It's okay. I'll show them. We will show them all. Oh. I can hear the sound of a heartbeat. That's. Oh. 
Are you kidding me? That's the end of the... That was so much worse than I ever could have imagined. Yeah, that was really awful. Oh my god, I hope that was the saddest it gets because that was literally the worst. You see in shows like sad things happening and, and tragedy happening, but it's always like you can point to the evil thing and you can like know <laughs> who to blame. And this is so messy, but it is very, it feels very real. It just, I feel like it's a lot of what people struggle with in terms of shame and guilt and trauma. Her villain origin story is going to be trauma. And she was a kid and she just made a mistake. She just wanted to help her family. And by, I mean, she did walk away, but she didn't leave her. She wasn't going to leave her. No. It's Marcus's fault. It's nobody, it's like, every, it's just, there is no fault yeah. because it's like, Everyone was a family at one point. Like Silco, Vander called him brother. Yeah. And I'm sure that those people following Silco, they, they, everyone was together at one point and they could have been pursuing the same goal, which was peace. But then it's just like, it got so messy. It's amazing what can change in moments of desperation. Milo and Clagger, that too, really? That had to happen? Yeah. Like, that's so sad, but I guess... I don't know, I guess it had to. I don't freaking know. It's really, really sad. And it's just like, it. everybody on that side. Like, how did yeah. so many of Silco's people survive? Surbi yeah, I was thinking that. And then, and I guess it's because of all, like, the metal that was, like, imploding in on them. It's a good story. It's yeah, obviously it's, extremely well done. And it's that's just, why it it it's like sad, but it's also unsettling because you see yourself in these characters. And you see why everybody yep. ended up the way that they ended mm -hmm. up. Like Even I see the why worst one. <laughs> yeah, Silco. I see how you got there and why you're doing what you're doing. And yep. I'm sure that he yes, he's wants to, he's taking advantage of powder, but part of him probably wants to show love yes. in some way. I loved the them looking at their hands, that motif of them realizing the power to just through either giving attention or withholding attention. Like when Bai looked at her hand when she hurt Powder and then just walked away and then he, Silco, looked at his hand before he comforted her. We hold so much power with our loved ones and just humans in general and you could be the reason why someone <laughs> ends up a bad person or a good person <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just by if you leave them or you don't. And like that's that's a huge responsibility to bear. I don't blame anyone. I no. really I don't blame anyone. I feel like next episode will be a little bit easier. I hope so. <laughs> that was, that uh, was really sad. Normally I can like handle heavy <laughs> stuff, but that was like your kids too. Yeah. We're both babysitters. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, yeah. we used to be full time babysitters. <laughs> and just to see these like kids that had they were just trying to do their best and they were so yeah. hopeful and they were getting them out of there. It like makes me not want to have kids, but I do want to have kids yeah. eventually. Like Ugh. And it speaks so of hard. Vander as a father too that he he saw that Milo and Clagger were dead, and it's so it could be so easy to just feel defeated and feel this like literal building on top of you. But then he saw Bai, and he was like, "Like I gotta." I and gotta he did help the my kid. the thing that was so against his morals <laughs> to save her, mm -hmm. and he was still present. Through, yes <laughs> even though the the whatever yeah. it is that makes them rage he was like that's true he controlled himself he's like i knew it, you had it in you even with all the evil whatever fluid material he still was able to like not seek out revenge and go and save her and that's he didn't, so true he could have easily just crushed his neck and he didn't people underestimate the power of rivals between siblings or even chosen family friendship like i feel like a lot of media centers on relationships and actually a lot of betrayal and 
love and just like good storytelling and life experiences come from your friends and your siblings. Yeah. Anyways, drop a like, drop a sub. I, I can't really end this on a very positive, lighthearted note, but take care of yourselves. If you feel sad or triggered or whatever from watching that, please watch something funny. All right. Thanks, y'all. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.